Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard competing with crows for voice space. Okay then, I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas in front of us and I have intentions. Yes, we hear you. Darn. I have intentions to do something with... A s Ooh, wow, that's huge. That's going on forever. <laughs> You know what that is. If you've been watching me a while, it's an FB. All right, somewhere here I have an OXO omelet turning spatula. You guys, really? So I'm just gonna give myself a black edge. And know that I can, oh, come on, really? <laughs> Evidently, it's definitely worth talking about. Darn, that is some noisy, noisy crow action. My apologies. No, no accounting for the neighbors. <laughs> oh well. Alright, so I'm not going to put a huge puddle of paint here because I basically just want to try and use the black for a background. I don't know how that's going to work because I intend on using some Dutch pour methods and maybe some swiping and uh, if it comes to it some chaining too. I've got the end of a bottle of paint to use up and I'm going to use it to the best of my ability to leave myself a space down the center. Now I used to do paintings with stripes down the center and chain pulls and I love them. All of them. I just got to a point where it was easy and now we're just going to change up what's happening a little bit by trying to use my blow dryer. I finally got a new adapter for my camera so I won't be having to use the batteries that get hot and then stop my camera from working anymore. Hopefully this adapter will last a little longer than the last two. I tried really hard not to buy it from the same person. It was an Amazon purchase. And uh, suffice it to say, paying a dollar more for the peace of mind that comes with not having to suffer wondering when your camera will stop working or if it's recording at all. Come out of there, you. All right, so I want to steal a little paint from both sides. I know I'm just taking too long doing the initial setup, but it is what it is and we'll work with it as it is. Should put more paint there. Oh well, never mind. Scrape that off. Wipe that off of my studio rag, sweatshirt material, and dry it on my pants. I don't want water in my paint. And what am I going to do now? I am going to use, I'm going to make sure my paint is shaken. I just made a new batch. I'd like to spread it around in a nice heavy layer and I'm tempted to throw the torch in there. Is that a bubble? I think I'm just going to give myself a slightly more copious amount of paint than I'm used to. Wow, that's huge, whatever that is. Goodbye thing. Now I'm not spatula because I want a pillow of paint. It may not work like everybody else's pillows of paint, but it's my pillow of paint and I'm trying it. I am going to grab a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, my number five with the round tip. Very useful. And just help my paint along a little bit. Fill in. I'm gonna help it along a little bit more with some more paint actually. It took her five minutes to set the darn thing up. <laughs> All right, so that paint has mostly flowed over the side and made some beautiful cells on my finger. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to wipe that off. I may want that again. I got some colorful paint clothes. I want to tell you what. Oh, I also had some paint I left on my spatula. Bad girl. Clean your spatulas off. You'll be much happier. So, the colors that I want to use... I'm going to apply like that. And I know you're supposed to only use three colors, but that's just not my MO. And these are the colors I want. And 
and then I'm going to get right down and, oh yeah, you know what, I am too. Right frisky. Get down, get funky. And if it doesn't, if the Dutch pour doesn't work out, I'm pretty sure a swipe will, and I've got plenty of colors standing by. I just want, I kind of, now I'm in rainbow mode suddenly, like I, like I ever left. Um, but I'm going to clean some of my bottles away so I have room to operate the hairdryer. Excuse me while I take a moment. Please stay tuned. All right, so hair dryer. Hair dryer works. And cold button works. Okay, so let's do this thing. Put a nice heavy layer of paint. My paint is not too overly heavy, by the way. People keep telling me I can't do this because I'm supposed to have thinner paint and I'm bound and determined to find out for sure if that's absolutely truth or not. Now what I've seen is if I go one way I think I needed more colors. I know I wanted some gold in there. Looks like it's gone about as far as it wants to go for me. So, slightly heavier white paint, and yes, I can still do a Dutch pour. Will I be utterly satisfied with how that worked out? Maybe. <laughs> Dip my hair dryer right into the. What I want is to add some more colors coming out of there. Let me see what's in there. Not much. I am getting some nice cells. I am going to follow my instincts and hope they are correct. I kind of want something I didn't put in there to begin with, which is a few dots of that dark purple. And then I kind of want I'm not sure that's the right red. Nothing's going to keep me from trying it. Why should I not? It kind of looks a lot too, too much like everybody else's for me to rest there. I have some gold. Where are you gold? Show yourself. Now I can drag these out with a silicone spatula, which might be kind of cool. But first I'm going to try. And see what I think about that.
Yeah, that's all right. It's not uh, super fabulous. I think I want some orange in there now that I've seen what it looks like. So it seems to make a huge difference. So embellishing a Dutch pour before it's dry. That's what this is. And I kind of want some yellow. Come out. Or don't. Oh, please come out. <laughs> I have a bamboo skewer, but it's not helping me right now. So I'm thinking about <laughs> just using it in a different way. There. I'll have to figure out something to do with that in a minute. In the meantime, put the top back on there and hope I don't pick it up. So I've experimented with the one side. I'm not really minding that. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I guess I might as well in for penny, in for pound, keep going with it. Might be horrible. <laughs> I'd have to do something like the swipe I already talked about. It's a nudibranch, if that's even how you say that, under sea slug. It's kind of fun to do though, I gotta say. It is what it is. I don't know if those need to be blown out or not. I have Prussian blue and it makes cells every time. Come on out. You could just be less frustrating if you wanted to be. I wonder if purple would be the same way. I just want something completely different. You can't really blame me. There we go. Kind of like that. That's neat. I could put something along the outside edge and, and go in. I think I better do that over here before I forget. I'm going to have to do the center ones.
I am just composing by the on the fly because it's fun. I recommend fun. I always recommend it fun. I think a little bit more of that purple over here. Why do I want to tip all that and see what happens? Somebody's going, no, don't do it. Okay, right here. I know you're here somewhere right in front of me. There we go. Just evening out, or zhuzhing up, or whatever you want to describe it as. I got two minutes left to tell you whatever I'm supposed to tell you, which is probably quite a few things, and I didn't start soon enough, nearly. But I am having a good time playing, making up a composition as I go. So I love you guys. There's almost 85,000 of you. If you give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for everybody who does that. I appreciate it very much. So uh, if you watch more of the videos, you help me out. If you watch them longer, you help me out. If you're looking for the videos and you can't find them on my channel, you will find playlists. Created playlists. Will uh, There will be eight lists of 100-ish and one list that's being populated to 900. And <laughs> I'm having too much fun focusing on what I'm doing to... Uh, Remember to tell you what I'm supposed to tell you. But I'm, I think that's, that's just fun. And I have a list which says if you're not getting notif notifications, look for the help box uh, for, on YouTube on your channel. It'll tell you what's going on because not everybody knows what's going on. And um, I, do get, I do sell my artwork and I do give private lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. In, inside. If you shop my Amazon link, you help me out. It's Christmas right at the moment, so helping me out is <laughs> really appreciated. If you donate $10 or more to keep the studio going, um, you will get involved. You will, you will be automatically included in a monthly drawing that you can find the prizes for on the end screens. Yes, I am. I'm just spiraling things out because I can, because I like to spiral things out. Um, it's fun to spiral. What can I say about spiraling? Some people hate it. Most people don't. I got one minute left to tell you guys about my Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors. Expressionist Art Studio Totes and More will take you to my Fine Art America page where you can see what I've been posting there since 2013 and I am going to torch this before you go on if I can possibly manage it. We torch to release the bubbles in the paint. We torch to release patterns in the paint. If you want to... Oh gosh. <laughs> if you want to what? I don't know. Anything I can help you with, just ask me a question and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. I kind of like to put some gold at the outside of this and drag it in, but otherwise it's just kind of fun. I'm sure it'll look a little different the next time you see it because I'm going to put some gold in here now. I'm going to try not to drag any trails like that one. All right, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, I love you guys. Thanks for all the great.